Here's how I made this video. These are the basics when it comes to making a hyperlapse. Let's start with the camera settings. You can use any camera to take your photos, or even your iPhone, as long as you can control two important things. You'll need to set your camera in manual mode and the non-auto white balance. When focusing in camera, you'll want to choose a single point focus option, typically set right in the middle of your grid or the top third middle. Once your camera is set, find a subject and pick a spot on that subject that you'll focus on each time you take a photo. Make sure that you have a straight line to walk in while taking photos with nothing obstructing the focus point. This can either be back and forth or side to side. When moving in between shots, take either one or two steps, keep them consistent and in a straight line. Also try to keep the timing in between shots the same, otherwise it will look jittery. If you want to level up your hyperlapses, you can orbit around your subject keeping with the same principles. Each photo is one frame of the video. So if you're working in a 30 frames per second timeline, 30 photos is one second. You probably want between two and four seconds, which is anywhere between 60 and 120 photos. Once you've taken your photos, import them into Lightroom. Edit and color grade one photo, then sync that color grade with the rest of the photos and the sequence to match. Export all the photos with a custom name and the sequence number setting into a folder. Now open up your video editing software of choice to stabilize the photo. I used After Effects, but you can use anything with tracking stabilization. In After Effects, import the photos as a sequence. You'll see this option before you click Import. Once imported, drag the sequence to create a new composition. To stabilize the photos, use the tracker in After Effects and select Stabilize Motion. Select a track point on the subject, usually the spot you were focusing on in the camera, then tick the rotation box and select another track point that's 180 degrees from your first one. Click the play button and hopefully it should track, but usually you'll have to manually adjust each track point every frame. The more time and more precisely you do this, the better the result will be. Once done, click apply, apply X and Y to the video and it should be stabilized. Now render this video out and import it back into the After Effects. Drag this to a new composition and a new timeline. If you need further stabilization, you can apply Warp Stabilizer. At this point, you can get creative with the speed, scale, and rotation of the video to make it your own. Be sure to add motion blur to make it look even better. Add sound effects and you're good to go. Follow for part two where I show you how to do this effect.